So now in this video we will see all the options which are available in the draft analysis. So as we already we have seen that we have to turn the shading with material view mode on. Okay, so now when you uh, turn this on, okay, so before that we will first we will be learning the first mode which is quick analysis mode in this video and now in the next video we will see the second mode so so first i will tell you a difference between this so so if i uh, turn this on this is the show scale uh, this is the scale color scale you, you can say so in this uh, quick analysis mode we have only three colors and in the full analysis mode we have the these many colors we have almost six colors we have in this full analysis mode so it depends on the requirement uh, of the part so so let, so we generally use this full analysis mode if there is a graining uh, structure or graining pattern is required so for graining higher degrees of drafts are required for the graining or texturing purpose so at that time we use this full analysis mode or, or generally we can or generally we use uh, only this uh, quick analysis mode only okay so in this quick analysis mode we have these three colors and in this in full analysis mode we have six colors so this is so with this uh, these many colors we can uh, ident we can uh, differentiate the we can classify different angles at different areas okay so this is the use of these two modes okay so now the first thing we have to do is we have to first uh, move this compass like this and we have to move this and we have to place it <coughs> on this tooling direction like this and once it is placed we have to select this one option uh, to define a new current drop direction okay so when you define this then you have to again adjust it like this okay so i will tell you why we have to do it do it like this so let's suppose uh, okay so right now the tooling direction is in z direction but sometimes it can be in x direction also or y direction or any direction so at that time so if i okay so let's so I, if I uh, place this compass over here, so let's assume that the tooling direction. Okay, so let's assume that the tooling direction in this direction. Okay, so now if I when I click on this, then it becomes straight. Okay, so now again we have to just adjust it and we have to place it again. Then it will be fixed. Okay, then it will be fixed. Okay, so this is the this is how it is used okay so now what i will do i will just move it place it here and i will just define the new current draft direction like this okay so we have we are going to learn the first mode so before that we have to turn this option on so basically we uh, check the uh, part we check any plastic part for minimum 0.5 degree draft so there should be minimum 0.5 degree draft has to be there for any plastic part okay so for the easy removal of the uh, part from the mold so after this what we have to do is we have to just click uh, on this body like this or you can click anywhere on the body so now you can see uh, one green color and the blue color on the other side okay so this is it and so okay so before that before going uh, further in detail i will first quickly um, show you uh, show the example of all these commands so this this one is analysis analysis under the running point okay so when i select this so then you have to just move the compass anywhere where you want to measure the angle so here you can see it it says 0.5 degree inverse so on here it is 0.5 degree inverse okay so here it, on this surface the draft is 90 degree so on this so here the the draft is 44.8 so in this way you can measure the draft at different or specific area or specific point 
by using this command okay okay so now the third one is no highlight representation okay so when you turn this on it will just uh, highlight some areas like this so it is not that important okay then this is just uh, light mode it is a light effect so in this way you see so you see this this is filled this is completely filled as you can see so we generally keep it like this only so these two are not that important okay and so in this way so this this option is used to lock or unlock the draft direction and so we have already seen this command and now this this one is inverses the drop direction which means uh, right now the green color is uh, on the top so when i click on this the green color will go on the back side so basically we generally or what we do is, is we check the green color only so this is the color coding so we will see that later okay uh, so generally we check uh, the green color only so when so as you can see there are no undercuts on here so this is done now we have to check on the other side you have to just uh, select this option and you can check on the other side so in this way you this this option is used okay so now you have idea about all these commands and all, all these options okay so now we can see the color coding so so you must have one question in mind that why we keep 0.48 degree instead of 0.5 as we check for the 0.5 so when I click uh, 0.5 then you see it will not show any color I mean it will show a red color um, at where wherever there is a 0.5 degree draft okay <clears throat> so basically uh, the meaning of this color coding is the red color will be shown uh, where there is an angle between 0 to 0.5 degree okay so so that time so for that it will show 0.5 degree draft so right now it is showing 0.5 here so for the visualization purpose it is not suitable so we basically go for the green it should be green always so 0 0.2 0 0.02 mm is the tolerance 0.2 mm is the tolerance so we always check for the 0.48 which is the minimum so 0.48 is minimum so this is showing green color means the draft is in between 0 to 0.48 so which is fine okay so which is correct so that means uh, the, the the degree of draft on these walls is more than 0.48 more, more than 0.48 and what we want is it should be at least 0.5 degree draft there should be a minimum 0.5 degree draft has to be there okay and this blue color means uh, undercut we generally call it as undercut or negative draft direction negative draft okay so so we generally avoid these kinds of situation like undercut in the green area okay so this is all about the first mode which is quick analysis mode okay so now I will tell you one more thing that the parting line so where uh, so generally so what when, when we create a parting line the parting line is so parting line is created where the um, two halves of mold meet each other so as you can see where so we create a parting line where the green color and the blue color are meeting with each other are meeting each other so at that edge we create this parting line okay so this is all about the draft analysis in the quick analysis mode and now in the next video we will see the full analysis mode